Today I am joined with my brother Flynn and I will be interviewing him about some artwork that he's recently started and also about his journey into painting because in the past year with his university he actually picked up a couple of art classes which he really enjoyed so we're going to explore a bit about that. So thank you for joining me Flynn. No problem. Yeah and uh, the first question I want to start off with asking you is what inspired you to actually start painting and start drawing? Like where, where does that derive from? Um, I have no idea actually. I just kind of picked it up. Uh, I always doodle in class. I, I feel like so. I don't know. I really don't know. It just kind of happened. Hmm. Would you say there's any artists or any historic figures that had any influence on your wanting or your passion for art? Like, in that, have any historic figures inspired you at all, would you say, or? Um, no, maybe like cartoons or something like that, like um, tattoos and like stuff like that. You mentioned tattoos. Are tattoos something you're particularly interested in? Yeah, I would say. I think they're really cool. I can. I see you actually have one on your arm, and yeah, uh, I have. Oh, uh, yeah. I was wondering, do you plan on getting more? And if so, would it? Would you want it to be something that you did, like one of your drawings? Because I know, given that you're my brother, that. Is it something you had an artist do? So could you see yourself doing some of your own artwork in the future? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I would have to take the time to learn how to do it, but um, yeah, I don't know if that's a particular path I'm gonna go down, but. Mm. So now, going back more so to, uh, to your art, I was interested to know, are there any particular emotions or messages you aim to convey through your art? Because I've seen some of your sketches before, and I, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about them and what you feel and the message you're trying to convey through them, if any at all. Yeah, I mean, normally I do like portraits and stuff, so I, don't know, I, I really like creating these random faces and seeing what, like, their expression and stuff like that. I mean, um, I don't know, I don't, like, predetermine their emotion before I start it. I just kind of make it, I don't know, it just happens. Mm -hmm. So, so what you're saying is the, the emotions that are conveyed through, through their faces and through these figures isn't something that's pre-planned. It's something that just comes naturally to you. Yeah. Mm, that's very interesting. So going into that more, are there any challenges that you you face while coming up with these figures or your paintings in general? I see you have one here with us now. We can dive into that in a second. Yeah. Um, I guess finding all the correct values um, is pretty hard, especially when mixing color. Um, Oil paint's very wet, so it's very easy to, you know, use too much solution or paint whatsoever, so. Nice. Well, now, I'm not very familiar with uh, paint myself, and I was wondering if you could speak a little bit about what it is that you've used on a canvas in front of us, the this yellowish green. If you could speak a little bit about this and then what your plans are actually with this painting. Yeah, sure. So, um, for this background, I've just used um, these three colors. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter. It's just a, a white and a yellow and a gray. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a dull color, but I, I think I'm only going to use gray and white for the actual face just to get the proper values to add to, like down so then I can focus on maybe, um, you know, I haven't decided yet, but which side's gonna be more lit than the other side. So then once I 
you know, figure that out, I can start to go in and, you know, build the face. Mm. So you do plan on putting a face on this campus at some point, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I, I normally sketch it out before I'm on, I like a tiny little pocket notebook, but... Nice. Yeah. And I was curious, given the contrast of the colors that are already on the canvas, I see you working with a lot of lighter colors. Yeah. Do you plan on using some darker colors when you actually do the face to really make yes. it pop? Or what was your plan? Yeah, definitely. Um, but on one side, I think it would be much lighter than I, I would think. I would want to make it very light just to kind of make it uh, blend it blend it in, make the edges a little softer. Uh, but normally I go in and I, you know, I make the old outline first. So I have to do that first. I was hoping too, do you mind sharing some of your, uh, your favorite stories regarding painting and drawing so far? Like, are there any moments that stick out to you in particular? Um, not really, I mean, Pretty much the relaxation of it. You know, you can sit back in your bed when you're about to go to sleep, and it's a good way to go to bed. Um, nice. Yeah. Then that brings me up to another follow up question. Where do you find, like, what space gives, brings out the best of your art? Like, is there a particular place you like to go? Whether it's. <clears throat> No, actually, um, so this year I'm going to be in a small little apartment, like, little room, so I'll probably just have my setup and then my bed, so you don't need much. I've heard people doing it outside, you know, it's probably really hot out there, so I feel I think we can you all can work your way around. Yeah. I think we all can agree it is quite hot out right now. And um, I have another question. Where do you see yourself with your art in the future? Is this going to be a hobby? Do you plan on pursuing it as a career? Like, where, where do you see your art taking one specific road, or is it sort of ambiguous and you don't know where it might lead? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know. I think I would love to have it as a hobby. Um, if I don't, you know, take this professionally or whatever they call it. Um, but yeah, I do hope I get really good and I just want to practice every day and, you know, see where it takes me. Yeah. Well, as you know, continue practicing. That's how you master craft, so could not agree with you more on that. And in doing that, in trying to master your craft, do you plan on taking more courses oh, related yeah. to art? Yes. College experience? Yes. I am studying studio art uh, with a focus on painting, so. Nice. Yeah. Very interesting. And what might a class like this entail? Like, what, what might you see in everyday class? Like, when you walk in, could you give us a little preview to what it's like? I mean, yeah, you're going to have to carry your bag, carry your materials to class in this big old bag. Um, but normally you kind of just sit or, sit around and uh, you know debrief for a little bit, think about what you're gonna do, um, and then you just kind of jump right into it. Um, sometimes you can go outside, sketch like buildings and stuff like that. It all depends where class takes you. <clears throat> but you can see most of the stuff hung up in the walls, like in a, in that building. And they actually just built another building down in Charleston, so. Nice. And when you're going through and looking at, like, various galleries, do you oftentimes draw inspiration from others' artwork? Like, or would you say your work is primarily your own? Um, yeah, inspiration, but normally I see that and I'm, like, a, like a painting. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm, I can relate to that for some reason. Or, mm -hmm. Oh, I've seen that in my life, or, uh, Anything you can kind of relate to is something cool. Well, Flynn, thank you so much for taking the time to sit with me here today and answer some of my questions.
I hope this thanks for having me inspirational for you as well and I wish you yeah. luck on your painting journey so thank you thank you